Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Zach, and we decided to go up north and see the fall colors and just enjoy some fall camping. And so if you like what I'm doing with the channel or you like this kind of content, consider subscribing because there's definitely more on the way. As per usual, we left very late Friday night, and so uh, we're going to pick everything up here this morning and uh, start making some breakfast. So let's jump right into it. All right, so here at Split Rock, we're making a little bit of coffee. Wow, sun just got really bright. They have these awesome little sites right along the water here. So we're making a little fire. We're gonna try and make cinnamon rolls on the fire. That was Jake's idea. Jake's got all the good camp ideas. He's over here making some pour over. I'm using the Jetboil French press, so it's just a little attachment to the Jetboil flash. You boil water, add some grounds, let it sit for five minutes, then press down the French press attachment, and then coffee's ready to go. So now I just gotta pour some coffee. I got it. Here, Zach, I got it. I wonder, I wonder it didn't pop. Just for prepping. Or to what we do, Jake, just try it. Just, just organize them. Just organize them. <laughs> That's the five that was in there, right? Yep. Yeah. That's good because I woke up today wanting at least four cinnamon rolls. <laughs> mm. okay. Just like that, huh? Yeah. Well, uh, Probably some butter or something. I'm up here in northern Minnesota and we're just pulling off here for like a quick 15 minute stop. We're gonna make a little bit of coffee and just eat a couple little snacks. It's not really lunch time, but it's also past breakfast and we were up super early, kind of right at sunrise. So I'm just gonna pop the awning out. It's really sunny here and uh, have a snack, chill out for a little bit. So let's open it up. I'm kind of thinking we have lunch. Oh yeah. You don't have to if you don't want to.
like gray. Oh, it doesn't look gray in the photos, but it's blue or purple. Bluish, yeah. Hi. Look at this view. Just up here for the day. Just stumbled upon this place. It's a day facility. Got ourselves a ensuite bathroom up here. Love to see it. Just setting up. Having a bit of lunch. Testing out the camera gear. Testing out camping gear. Exploring. None of this stuff is marked in northern Minnesota, so we just have to kind of wander around, see if we can find it. Did some wheeling today and we're back. We found this sweet campsite at the end of the road here. Got a fire going, super nice. Just got leveled here with the max tracks and piece of wood. Got some reflectics up in the back window here. Waiting to put the screens on because uh, the fire ash might just land on them and I don't want to burn any holes in the screens. flex testing today and notice that the 34s are rubbing on the back a bit so I need to adjust my lower control arms and maybe the uppers a bit too so I can pull the whole wheel forward a little bit it's a little too far back in the wheel well I kind of had that inclination but I didn't know for sure but now I know for sure you open up the trunk here got it kind of set up for sleeping tonight and pretty excited. Kind of found that the Luno mattress is maybe a little short for me. I'm not quite sure. So I'm gonna try my orange tried and true mattress tonight. I'm a big fan of this one. I built a little leveling platform piece in here and uh, I'll have a dedicated video coming on that but just kind of wanted to show it. So get subscribed if you like what I'm doing. And yeah, that's basically the trunk. The other thing that I show fairly regularly, but if you're new, you may not know about. So we've got this Reflectix up here on the windshield too, just to hopefully keep Otis asleep a little bit longer. And so Otis has got his own little bed up here. It's built from a piece of plywood that is outlining this front seat and it rests on this armrest, a wood insert in the like useless rectangular space by the cup holder and then the armrest on the actual door builds like a nice little level place for Otis to sleep and it's super slick. Right now, since the rooftop tent isn't done yet, then we just throw a couple random things in the front seat like a cooler and a duffel or, you know, a couple things like that. Been liking the ladder. Use it a few times to crawl up on the roof and take some pictures. So that's been pretty sweet. Been getting a lot of use out of the awning 
this weekend. Uh, it's just nice to be able to sit in the shade when you're in some random spot. And so having that is pretty sweet. My buddy Jake has a really nice roam awning and it's honestly a super great option, but uh, I was able to set up this awning in like a tenth the time it took him and I was even helping him out set up his. And so this is just super slick. It's got the three different settings. And then right up here, he pressed this down to unlock it and then you can pull it out. And then this is a ratcheting feature to pull the fabric all the way tight. So it's super simple to use. And if you want, you can adjust the angle that it's mounted at. So if you want it to face more upward or downward, you totally can. I've really loved having this awning. It makes setting it up so simple. And yeah, I just do it pretty pretty often because it's so easy. Sherpa Rack has also been great. Haven't had any issues. And my awning mounts have been great. Drove down a couple really narrow trails and I'm sure I was dragging some big branches with the awning. Didn't have any problems. So as always, the uh, diode dynamic lights are super awesome too. They're really bright. Yesterday I got up to Northern Minnesota, probably around 11 PM and having all these lights was super nice for just mobbing down forest roads to find a place to camp because the longer it takes, the more tired you get. And so just having all these lights to easily see is really nice because it gets super dark in the back country. A lot of people ask me about these too. These are just little magnets from a brand called Tactilian. You can go pick them up and OVLD ENG is a discount code. Saves you a little bit of money. These help support wounded veterans. So I'm a big fan. Plus I think they look really good. And you can take them off if you're trying to wash your vehicle. So pretty simple. Also, this is my buddy Jake's rig. He's Wilderness Off-Road on Instagram and YouTube. And it's a pretty sweet outback. I film it on occasion and he's got these super awesome black rhino wheels. I'm a big fan of them. And they're on BF Goodrich KO2s. He's got some last fit lights. He's been working with last fit, which is pretty sweet. He's got the roadies. I've used these before. I still have mine, but I've been using the Luno screens because they're a lot quicker to set up and they're, they're really nice too. But yeah, if I had an Outback, I'd build it very similar to his. He's got a really sweet, sweet rig. Plus this is a 3.6 R Outback. So it's got quite a bit of pep. Makes the Forerunner look pretty slow. Plus the back end has a whole build out so you can sleep inside it. And his is super comfortable where since it's just him, he's got a bunch of space and he never really has to tear too much down. So it's set up almost like a mini camper. And uh, you know, we worked a little bit together on this build. It's really cool, but go check out his channel if you want to see more information on this stuff. I'll try and find the link to this little oven, but we were having fun just cooking a bunch of different types of food this weekend. We made those cinnamon rolls for breakfast. Then we were making brats and Jake decided to pick up some stuff so we could make pizzas with this little oven. So I'll grab the link for it and drop it down below, but it was a lot of fun. We made some pizzas and just kind of sat around the fire, enjoyed the fall, cool weather. This is a beautiful campsite and it was, it was up in Northern Minnesota, probably half an hour away from Lake Superior. And yeah, just sad and enjoyed ourselves. That tasty, huh? Got a brat and pineapple pizza going right now. Devos keeping us lit after dark. Just to uh, show a little bit of video of the DRLs at night. They look so good. I'm such a fan of them. And then we've got the Harbor Freight rock lights. I did a video on this. They're just super handy. I love turning them on when we're at camp. I forgot to turn them on. Just now I remembered, but they're awesome. And they draw like no power. So I just leave them on. Really doesn't mess with the battery that much. And then when it's time to get into the Forerunner to sleep, Everything's all lit up. It's easy to see. If you drop something, you can see it. It's just a sweet setup.
All right, so we're just gonna make some bacon here. Then we're gonna make some hash browns. And then we're gonna make some egg, oh wait. We were at the grocery store and literally didn't buy eggs. So it's just a hash browns and bacon kind of morning. Jake's over here making a breakfast burrito. And uh, yeah, having a little morning fire. Otis is causing mischief as usual. Hi buddy, hi buddy. Do my fingers smell like bacon? Best part about camping up north in the backwoods is it's free. So yeah, we've just been chilling. And while we're making breakfast, I'm always talking to Jake about random little things of camping gear. Go follow Jake. He knows every small thing on Amazon <laughs> that you've never heard of that you definitely need. Not one of those prime deals that waste your time. A little knickknack that'll help you out. All right, I'm gonna put you guys down. I gotta watch this bacon. Hey everybody, so we're making some uh, hash browns here on my camp stove. It's just a little MSR camp stove. Uh, it's like a backpacking one. And then I've got a GSI uh, pan here from REI and this cool little GSI camp seasoning kit. Uh, nothing too crazy. I don't typically camp and cook too fancy things, but it's kind of fun to cook while camping. So maybe I'll start getting into that. But I've just been uh, putting some oregano on these uh, hash browns because it's really good. Just tried it and I'm making a second batch here to finish off the bag. So, and I'm tossing some garlic, oregano, salt, and pepper on these. They're pretty good. So, we will let them cook a little longer. And then I'll add some salt, or I'll add some uh, cheese on the top of them to uh, finish it off. So, also, Check out my Sweet Yeti. Did a limited run of these. Absolutely love this thing. There we go. Hash browns are done. Presentation, it's not great, but they're gonna taste super good. Good for you. <laughs> Why? I take offense to that. I'm offended by that. Okay. Well, mm. Oh, that's good. How this dog platform works, like I've previously mentioned in other videos, but some of you maybe haven't seen it. So I built this little square piece of carpet. It's pretty simple. Just sits in there and takes the pressure off of any sort of weight that could go on the shifter. So we've got the armrest and then we've got this little plate to support the board. Then. This board is cut out to fit around the chair and over the armrest. So we take it, kind of thread it in like this, and then I move the seat forward so that it hugs around the piece of platform. And we go to about there, kind of near the control knobs. I'm just gonna leave it hang there a little bit. Grab the platform, lift it up, set it on the two pieces of armrest over here give the door a slam. Now we've got a flat surface here for Otis to sleep on. And we just set his dog bed right over the top of it. Works quite well. Otis is 65 pounds, maybe on the small side for him, but it's not too bad. If you had any dog smaller, it would be more than enough space.
All right, well, I think that's gonna wrap up this fall trip here. We checked out a bunch of different trails up here in Northern Minnesota, found some sweet campsites, and we're just able to hang out, test out the rig a little bit, and see some good sights and fall colors. So really appreciate all the brands that support me, uh, especially Kamek. I've been using this awning more and more now that I've got a rack on the vehicle that can support it, and it's a sweet, sweet awning. Uh, it's so nice just being able to set it up like in no time at all. Uh, I'd never really set up my old awning, uh, but this one is super quick. I can just pull it out and push it in. And so throughout the whole entire trip, I've just been setting it up whenever we stop to make some food because it takes like no time at all and it's not really a burden to set up. So uh, obviously if you're interested in this, I'll have it linked down below. Uh, but thank you so much for following along on this fall trip and uh, I appreciate the support from you all. So thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next video.